Hi, I'm Linda Lomahaftiwa. I'm uh, Hopi and Choctaw, and um, I live here in Santa Fe. So, um, and I was teaching at, at the Institute of American Indian Arts, and I retired about three years ago. It just seems like everything happened all at once. The pandemic happened, and I was at home uh, trying to figure out, you know, wh what am I going to do, and how am I going to do my artwork? And then this uh, residency came up, and I was able to uh, get get to a, a, a studio space to work. Got me out of the house and took me to a studio space where I spread out and put your, put your artwork out and just leave it and then come back and work on it again. The focus of the show is, is uh, well, obviously works that, I, that I've done in the past and then leading up to now. And uh, uh, the work, the work is about landscapes. And, and uh, when I was going to school in San Francisco, I, you know, thought a lot about home, Arizona, um, where, where I grew up. And I, uh, so I did a lot of landscape paintings, but they're very abstract, really colorful also. So, um, so I grew up, you know, learning mostly about my Hopi background and then, um, and then as years went by, I kept thinking, how am I gonna incorporate my Choctaw side into my artwork? And um, the, uh, the, the Choctaws of Oklahoma were removed from the, uh, during the Trail of Tears to Oklahoma from Mississippi. So uh, there wasn't much, uh, my mom didn't really talk too much about um, the culture so I, you know, I learned from uh, just by observing and things that she said and taking care of her grandpa, my great grandfather. So I was able to, to know my great grandfather and uh, he could only speak Choctaw. So, so I've been trying to uh, struggle with trying to bridge the two together, the Hopi and Choctaw and uh, symbolisms and landscapes and, um, so that's what I've been kind of working on. So in the background here, you see, uh, these are just like, you know, sketches that I had to do something. I started out with just putting down lines and, and uh, earth, earth tones and um, just to get something down on paper. And they've been sitting here all this time, giving me inspiration to look at and, and think, think about how, how I'm going to bridge everything together. So the, Again, the focus has been on um, working with landscapes. And, um, and I, I've just been working on a very small scale. I haven't gotten to the larger size yet, which I plan to do because I, um, being in the studio space, I was able to um, continue on with uh, renting the studio space until, um, until I can get more work done. So I just, I just started working on really small pieces Again, and I like to collage. Um, so I, this is the sun, and it's uh, it's actually taken from the bandolier um, sash of the Choctaw. And I uh, again, I abstracted it, so I um, painted this. And I like doing collages, so I did. Um, uh, piece together, uh, collage together, um, just, you know, working with color and design and making marks and paper. And then sometimes when it's all laying on the table, I, I just look at it and, and think, hey, that looks good together. I can just, you know, cut it up and, and make it into something else. And that's what I do with these smaller um, uh, landscapes. This one, this one is, reminds me, well, I do night sky stuff too for landscapes. And this is about the, um, the comet that, that we recently had. I didn't get to see it because it was cloudy, overcast the whole time. So I, um, so I had to make up my own interpretation of how it would look. Um, I also um, went back to looking at a lot of my old uh, pieces that I started before mm -hmm. and tried to finish them up working with, again, collage and, and uh, painting. These, these aren't really finished, but um, I, I did some small small landscapes with 
the sunset and then uh, the, the full moon that's happening now. Um, so I did a bunch of these small ones and then with, then we have the fire going on as well in uh, last month, I guess it was in August. So I did um, when the sky in the evening time when the sky would, when the sun was going down, this, the, uh, the, the smoke would cover the, the, the sun and it would make this really bright uh, red sun. And, and this is supposed to be like a grayish blue, but it, it looks like really blue in the, in the, on the screen. So that, that's that. And then I, um, this, is, this isn't finished, but I'm still working on it. Just, you know, putting down colors and shapes and lines. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and I again I plan to do uh, some of these on a larger scale. Um, 